Okay, it's time to get to work on this Rans S7. Rob just got in. He's up from the Great Lakes area. Just dropped him off at his rental car. He's gonna leave the plane with me for a week and get some upgrades done. We've got Shock Monster extended gear, 29 inch bush wheels. Nice looking Rans S7. It's got the two blade NR prop. So, the agenda on this thing is going to be Edge, fuel injection, 1484 CC big bore kit. We're going to do a secondary oil cooler. We're going to do a secondary alternator. We're going to put in a header tank in his baggage compartment that's going to tuck in up kind of out of the way. And uh, maybe a secondary EarthX battery. So. The fun begins. I'll try to pull out the camera as much as I can and, and document how it goes. Okay, we're getting to seeing some engine internals, tearing stuff off. Got this side to go yet, the other side tore down. Parts are starting to pile up. We'll get some more here. But. This one stands up so tall, I'm going to get myself a crate to stand up, get up to work on this motor. So, I don't know if I needed to lift the tail up or the crate's working for now. So we got old heads and cylinders just came off. We got fresh ones that are go on, EFI intake there. So we'll keep keep going at it. Cylinders will be on here in the next couple hours and we'll keep taking some fuel lines and re-locating the, the coolant spider and the ignition modules. Get that injection plenum up there. Keep going at it. Wow. All right, so I just got done welding up a little fixture here for a throttle reverser. This uh, Rans S7 has a, a fail to idle on the throttle throw, and for the fuel injection, we got to go fail to full throttle. So this is going to cradle in on the firewall, reverse the, the throttle function so that we can get that and retain the factory Rans S7 throttle that is installed there. So. I'm going to put this in the blaster, blast it, get some paint on it, and get it installed. All right, so we got this pretty much ready to fly. We got put outside, got my O2 stinger probe there in. We did some ground runs, ready to go up in the air, unload the prop a little bit at higher RPMs. Make sure our mixtures get up there. Got our pressure regulator there. There's the Post high pressure filter, coolant bottle relocated, the plenum. We were not able, we were going to possibly try and do the 15 amp secondary alternator. It did not fit. With that tank, there was not enough room. Secondary oil coolers in, since that manual pump gets taken out. We were able to install a second oil cooler in hot temperatures. He was heating up, so that ought to really help him up. Help him in some of those hotter climates. Fuel pumps right there. Made a little shield just to keep radiant heat kind of off of those pumps. Air filters coming around here. He's going to run home like this. May do a cold air scoop or something maybe a little something to get some cold ram air in for that air filter yet bring around inside here we've got the secondary battery up under there we've got the ECU there's the main battery we've got the main battery solenoid there's a secondary battery solenoid. 
So he's got four redundant isolated power systems that can start or run the entire ship isolated with those solenoids. So the other thing is I was going to have a throttle reverser in here. I got to installing it and testing it out and decided I didn't really like it. It was getting too complex. I didn't like the spring rates. So I pulled the cable off of underneath here and uh, try to zoom in here. Basically just attached it to the throttle cable up high, changed the angle of where this kind of rotated up and caught that. Made a much simpler, less problematic to fail system than having extra springs, the whole extra arm, everything else. So this is a lot simpler. Kind of a bummer I went to the work to mess with that reverser I just decided I didn't like it it was a little too complex and this maybe doesn't look quite as nice right here uh, but it's definitely simpler it worked really well probably keeps the the tension on the arm a little lighter as well just on operation so that is the install in the S7 and he had his prop kind of pitched heavy when he came in I think he was probably only hitting like 4900 rpm static which was just pitched heavy so we got all this installed and went at it and got about 52 so I took a half a degree out got him to 5300 we're gonna do some testing at that and see how he likes it and see what kind of cruise numbers he ends up getting changed we've got a kit fox 4 engine is setting right there I gotta figure out how to zoom this thing engine setting here Fuel injection going on there, going on the Kit Fox. And this is a first at Stoll Creek. Got a float plane. Fuel injection going on there after the Kit Fox. So stacking up the installs. This one will be interesting. It's got a engine mount tube right there where the plenum goes. So there's gonna be a little bit of work around to make that work on there. So, thanks for watching. We're going to go out and do some flight testing.